Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and I'm just about to have a little review of Ghostly Capers, which is a game by Lee Chop Stevenson. This is actually a sort of a pre-release because um, it's not coming out until September 25th, but Lee kindly sent me a message on Facebook, because um, I'd covered one of his other games before, the uh, Mr. Hare and a Kitty Catacombs, um, and he asked if I'd like to do a review on my channel for it, so of course I jumped at the chance, and he sent me over the tap file, so we're just about to have a little look. So yeah, this game, it was actually released for, it was exclusively released for a um, Repcon event, I think that was about two months ago, but it's now coming out as a general release, and it's being released on a company called technamic.com, um, comes out on 25th of September, I'll put a link in the description below, and uh, yeah, you can go and order the cassette, really cool looking cassette as well, it's got really nice artwork on the, not just the box, but the uh, the cassette itself is, is all printed, so uh, that's looking very cool. Uh, anyway, I'll just see if I can stop the music a minute. There we go. So yeah, just to give you a premise of a game, I'll read this from the website description. Superhero Steve is your host for a much anticipated retro convention, but mischievous ghouls haunt the venue. They have hidden all the retro gear, dodge their traps, find all the hidden items, and retrieve the gate key before everyone arrives. So yeah, that's what we're up to. So I will choose Kempston. And put the music up because the music is cool. The music is by somebody called Pedro Pimenta and I think he did the uh, the soundtrack for Mr. Hare and the Kitty Catacombs as well so yeah very cool soundtrack. Um, yes yeah, so there's our little guy there he looks a bit of a slob he looks like a <laughs> doesn't look like he's wearing any shirt I don't know if that's his belly button in there but yeah cool little character and the kind of unique um, mechanic in this game is that instead of having lives you've got um, scares so you do get scared if you go into these ghouls, um, but you, because they're ghosts, basically, if you if you hide like that, <laughs> you can see his little butt cheeks there. Um, if you hide, the, the ghosts will pass straight through you, so they don't kill you. Which is really, I don't, can't remember ever seeing that before, but it's a really cool little mechanic. And the other nice thing is, this is effectively like a little hub, this middle room here, and all these different places you can go in any order you want. So uh, yeah, you can. You don't have to sort of tackle the, the um, route in any set path. I, I like the fact you've got <laughs> that slimer there, look from Ghostbusters. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of retro references in here. You've got the old Mario one up there, which is obviously an extra life. And yeah, there's our little flashing items. They're the ones we've got to collect. And we need 17 of that retro gear. So uh, yeah, I've played a, a few little games just now already, just to get a bit of an idea of it. And it plays very, really well. It's uh, just like the... Um, Mr. Hare and the Kitty Catacombs, it's, it's similar sort of mechanics, um, and that's fine by me because it really works well. So you'll see me now. There you go, look. See, they just pass through you. Oh. There'll be a lot of moving crates around, I suspect. Oh, there we go, I've got that one. I've got to have a look and see what that was actually, that item. But yeah, and if you mess up any of these things, um, like moving the crates, just like Mr. Hare, you can just leave the room, come back in, and it, it'll reset stuff, so that's quite cool. See, I'm going to worry if you if you make any mistakes with things. Little uh, space invader there, look. Yeah, there's all sorts of different routes you can take, which is uh, quite nice. Oh, ah, bang my head on that um, nasty bottle up there. Still up, but you can actually start hiding while you're in the air, which which is quite cool. So you haven't got to time it to sort of be landed, what, you know, before you can do it, which would have been pretty tough. So let's get there. There we go. I've got our Game Boy there. cool little sprites I think um, not just because he's let me playing this but I think Lee Chops has certainly he certainly got away with, uh, with nailing these these games the playability and everything's there and I think the graphics are absolutely brilliant I know I can jump 
jump up to this one because I did reach it. Ah, there we go. And those candles that beside me, they will kill you. So, uh, as I keep on discovering, <laughs> I've jumped on those a few times. So yeah, there's a lot of disappearing fat platforms above me here. They are a typical, typical mechanic that you get in these games. Off too much of a game because I don't want to sort of spoil it for people, but I'll let it go. What are we now? Five minutes 50. I'll let it go to about 10 minutes. Oh, bow shit. Should have stayed ducked for longer. Oh, oh, and again. <laughs> like a little death, a little death animation there. That's a printer. And knowing the um Oh, the, the Kitty Catacombs game, I suspect there's probably quite a few secrets in here as well, hidden around. So how did I... Got killed by that thing last time. So I think I've done everything there. I've got this. Oh, you can't jump back that way. Ah, oh, so I need to... Need to go up and around. I'll tell you what, I'll pause it a second because I don't want to be showing you the same bits over and over. <laughs> right, so I've just unpaused it and you'll notice I've already got one life left. I <laughs> actually died quite a few times trying to get back onto where, where I was. But anyway, I'm there now, so there we go, and go backwards. So let's let's see if we can look a little bit further into it. Uh, where else can I go? That's a dead end down there. Yeah? There's loads of secrets here. Go, go, go. Oh, let's go have a little look in the hall. Go extra life. Right, so I've got two lives now. Uh, let's go. Let's go over to the office. I haven't been over here yet. Oh shit! Oh, I remember if you could sort of crawl sideways. so close and that's me dead but anyway oh there we go just under 10 minutes so i think that's a good little look so yeah there we go that is ghostly capers by lee chop stevenson like i said i'll pop a link um in the description below so thanks a lot for watching and thanks a lot to lee for uh, for letting me do a little review of this game really appreciate that i'll catch you another time that is all